So uh, here I'm going to show you how to install circles. That is a uh, software to make circular plots or charts. So we have got into the website and downloaded the packages. These packages are the software, the latest, the latest version, and the tutorials. Uh, so the first step is we are going to decompress it. That, that's for the moment. We're going to work on with that. So we get into this folder. And in one folder we're going to see the instructions and in the other we're going to execute it. Okay, so the first step here is you will get, or here, we're going to read the, the, in the file. But uh, in general terms, what we need to do is to get into bin, and then we are going to run uh, list modules, not list is now test modules to see uh, which modules, modules do we have here and here it says that we need to use the circles directly okay so here when we see missing is what we need to install now I'm going to filter only those that are missing and to copy it faster and just get in the, the packages that we need now I'm going to put them in just one line And I'm going to add with this. What I'm doing is just uh, adding a jump of line to the end. Mm -hmm. Now it's easier to copy. Okay, now we need to install it. So for that, we're going to see again in the readme file, there is we're going to list the Perl options. So we need the, this last one here. So we secure this. And everything we let as the default configuration. So now we write install and we paste all the libraries that we filtered out before. And now we just wait. Okay, so after it has installed everything, we're going to see what we have done. So to see uh, the update information, we have to get up from here. So I'm going to get into it again. So get into bin. And again, we run the circles. Mm -hmm. 
and apparently we need these two other libraries. In this case, we don't, we won't update it or install it through Perl, but instead through the Ubuntu terminal. So apparently, okay, now we need to run again the commands. Uh, we have installed the prerequisites for these two libraries. Now we need to install them again. So it has finished. Now we're going to validate this information. Again, we can into bin, circles, modules. And apparently we have finished with the requisites. So now we're going to keep looking what we need. We've done that, we've done that. We are going to do this. Reach and okay. So now we need to see from the scripts here from GDDAC and circles. We need to see the first lines. Okay, now we need to change these lines. Okay, we have updated the first lines. Mm -hmm. It's done. Now we need to test it. So, we need to see these steps again. We did test modules already. We did that. We're going to test that. So we are. Mm -hmm. And it can create it.
this graphic. And with that we can validate that we have finished the installation and it's working. So the next steps are actually to just use or modify the configuration file to start creating the first files. For now we have finished and if you need assistance or do you want me to make this installation for you, you can contact me and I can do it you can you hire me for that or just some uh, you can write the comments I will I will try to help you but I'm going to help you more if you want to pay me for that so that's it